Dakota here, KIG Outdoors. Got a quick review on the, the old Troy built weed eater. It is a TV685EC. Uh, quick review, and I mean quick. If y'all are uh, standing at Lowe's right now, looking at weed eaters on your phone, on YouTube, trying to figure out a review video, I'm gonna be quick, short, and sweet. Don't buy this. This thing is not what, it, what they used to be. I have an old one right here. This is a weed eater. This isn't. So for some quick facts about this weed eater right off, it's a 30cc spring assist with the jump capabilities, uh, quick start capabilities. It is what they call a prime and go, prime and go. Straight shaft, attachment capabilities. It weighs 18 pounds. This should have been the first sign. This should be your first sign. Uh, on Troy Built's website, if you go to, to their website right now, if you go to their website, look it up, this model, it gets a 3.2 out of five stars. That should have been right then and there uh, a sign not for not to buy it. If you go to Lowe's website, it only gets a two and a half stars. And you know, when you pull up the reviews on this weed eater, uh, some of the top top ones is uh, worst product ever, think twice before buying it, should have read the reviews first, all signs of how this product is. Now I'm gonna go over personally why I do not care for this weed eater. I do not care for it a, at all. Um, right off, so right off, I want you to look. It has no choke. This weed eater is my old one. I had it for eight years almost. Eight total years. It was a great weed eater. Um, had no problems, quick attach capabilities. Got a lot of attachments. Great weed eater, four cycle. It's This one is basically just the older model. See that right there? See that right there? It's called a choke. It's called a choke with primer. Um, the reason I had to buy a new weed eater is I actually killed this one. I bought a carburetor for it and uh, it was the wrong one. Basically flooded it out, washed the rings out, and now it burns oil like crazy. So I said, hey, I had a lot of good luck with the old Troy belt. Let's give it another try. And uh, I want, I want another thing I want to show you is uh, on that weed eater, the old weed eater, this is the shaft off of it. I have the new one. So the shafts, this is the new shaft, this is the old shaft off my old weed eater. And you see which one is actually on the new weed eater. The old shaft. Um, this attachment right here is hands down better than this one. Uh, this, this thing's garbage. I, I don't, whatever. I am going to take this weed eater back do not buy it. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to take this weed eater back. If you look closely right here, I mean, it's leaking gas. This thing is leaking gas. I've had it for two weeks. I think the tank is cracked. I think where they seam it together or there's a tube or something back there, it's cracked. So, review on this Troy belt. Don't buy it. Buy the Husqvarna. I hate to say that about Troy belt. I know a lot of people have a lot of attachments for these and they're trying to stick to them by the two cycle. The two cycle old Troy built to get hands down way better reviews. I bought the four cycle because I don't want to mess with the oil and mixing it and all that crap. But I think I'm going to go buy the two cycle. I, I'm disappointed in this weed eater. So real quick, I'm going to go over Husqvarna has a weed eater that is comparable to this weed eater. It is a, a 25cc four, four cycle straight shaft, blah, 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 all the same, $329. Now that should tell you something. If Husqvarna has one for $329 and this one's $199, which one do you think is half built? Hey, which one do you think is half as good of a product? I mean, yeah, it costs more, it's cheaper, you know, it's probably meant to do less, you know. I'm probably not gonna buy a Husqvarna. If there's $329 for a straight shaft, uh, you can get uh, steel all day long for that. I mean, hands down, I, I would take the steel. But uh, do not buy this product. I hate to do Troy built that way because I really like them. I mean, I, I bought their products over and over and over, and I like their design. I like their quick changeable uh, attachments and all the different things, all the products they uh, they offer. But you fell short on this one. So. That sums up everything. I hate to uh, down a company as big as Troy built on uh, on their products, but man, right here's proof. Right here's proof. This thing's leaking. 
This thing, this thing's leaking. I don't know. I've had it two weeks, so. You build bad products and you get bad reviews. That's that's the way the world works now. So, sorry guys. Thank you.